Welcome back everybody, Harry here, known as Trade Shop. Welcome to today's video where we're going to talk about Bitcoin. We have Rune, altcoin of the day, and it's going to be a great video because yesterday some weird things happened. So I was talking in the video looking to put a short term long as soon as we came here and you can see this wick re rejection. And we did get a little bit lower here on a wick, but it ended up for a nice 3% to 4% move. Very, very tradable. Came tested this area up here, which I didn't draw properly, but you can see. Came tested this up area up here and then fell back within the range now moving to a lower time frame we can see what's going on we we're playing in this range this is the midline of the range now and essentially what we have done now is we, we we're creating a, a nice range here between and, and it's a massive range unfortunately the range is like you know three thousand dollar range and uh yeah bitcoin has, has just played between this range over the weekend we had a movement to the upside yesterday looking like we wanted to break but then again we move back down so we can we can establish now that the top side of the range is 50, 59,684 and to the downside we have that 56 pivot now you know this is just typical weekend stuff you know we could look for some drives lower looking at momentum it is all on the downside four hour crossing down daily momentum is crossing down now so Looking at the higher time frame, such as the daily, it still looks good for continuation, but this looks like more ranging behavior to me, right? And if we take away the drawings like this and just look at pure price action, this is looking very, very similar to what we had back here, right? And it's looking like we do want some ranging, but again, you know, it's looking like it's still looking good on the higher time frames. Uh, you know, momentum on the higher time frame still up, you know, weekly momentum still crossed up you know it created a lower wick flipping up now so i mean it's looking it's looking good right i don't like how this daily low was broken here but it's not a death sentence in itself that's basically telling me that all right you know we're ranging right we're going sideways price is in an indecision moment and at this time it's quite hard you know to make any pivots but we do have a pivot here on a daily at 58,990 right and if we do close above that it looks good for continuation looking at CMEs on the other hand they look a lot more different right they look a lot healthier and if price closes uh you know price closed above this pivot CME is telling me it wants continuation right the weekly closed above uh the all-time high so CME is looking like a lot more healthier chart compared to spot price right and uh, that's what I'm, I'm going to go off, right? So coming into next week, I do look for some upside movement. But over the weekend, I look for us to range. Uh, I would like us to get above this pivot here at 59,000 and continue to bounce here. But where would I get bearish, right? Well, looking at a four hour, I would start to get bearish below 57,000. When we break that structure, I see us coming down to 54. But ultimately, going on a daily time frame, I'm not bearish on this chart. You know, technically I could be bearish below 55,000 and that's where, you know, issues could arise. And uh, since we put in a low here, we basically have to hold that 55,000 pivot. If we do break that on a 55,000, uh, if we do break that pivot, it could look pretty bad. But, you know, not much going on, guys, with Bitcoin, just some ranging behavior. But with that being said, let's get straight into it. Let's actually have a look at Ethereum. Oh God, it's it's so boring these days, guys. What is I mean, it's it's ranging like no tomorrow's. Same analysis all week. You can watch my videos, but you know, as long as it's holding this support at seventeen thirty three, then you know I don't look for it to come back down to this. But I mean, it's 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 struggling, guys. It's struggling. Hopefully, this EIP, I think it's fifteen fifty nine. Uh, should you know start to move the price and you know long term still like ethereum guys don't get me wrong but it's a bit boring so let's get into some exciting alts alt of the day is rune so let's have a look at rune and let's see what's going on with this <laughs> that looks like exactly like uh, ethereum doesn't it look at this <laughs> pretty close right but anyways let's let's go get back to rune and we'll start with the higher time frames and let's get an analysis. So we go to the weekly, first of all, and weekly is looking good, right? Especially that we have a pivot here. If we can close the above the next weekly pivot here, I do think we come and tackle all time high. Looking at momentum on the weekly is turned up. So that's very, very, very healthy. Uh, is weekly volume also uh, increasing? Weekly volume is decreasing, but I like how the momentum is up, right? I don't really mind weekly volume, daily volume. 
is decreasing with daily uh, momentum going down so we could be looking for a move soon that's what that is telling me right and looking you know where we have that weekly pivot if we do close above where we are today it looks good but we must you know we have to close above uh where was that pivot at 15 i mean 5.71 we have to close above there but to the downside we have the support at 5.5 and if we don't hold this support then we could look for more downside movement to five flat and then we can talk about lower targets but let's jump on the lower time frames and see what we got i mean you could argue that it's forming some sort of head and shoulders pattern here right you can see here's the head and shoulders pattern but at the end of the day we do have a clear support price is pretty messy so i won't trust that uh you know ultimately uh oops you know look price does look bullish right but am i looking for a move i think from this base it probably could pop up here looking at four hour momentum is flat lining not telling me much one hour momentum does want to turn down so if you know one hour momentum does want to turn down then that tells me that probably we will play out this range a bit more and four hour momentum what is it telling me you know it, it's it's crossing up here but it's basically in a really tight range ugly range it's hard to do you know daily momentum all the way crossing down also what i don't like and this is a little bit worrying is it's breaking this trend line here and uh, since we see this trend line breaking and this trend line break was on the 16th of march so we see what price action did on the 16th of march which is basically from this huge dump here. So I like how we've had the reaction here, holding this bottom here. But if we don't hold this, then it's not looking good for the price. And again, on the weekly is what holds the big importance. But we could take a Fibonacci and get some price targets, right? So we'll take it from this push here to the current top. And we'll see if we do continue up. But again, this low has to hold and the weekly has to close above that 5.5 pivot. Uh, let's just take the Fibonacci and see what it is telling us. And, you know, we do have price targets quite high all the way up here to, to 8.9 bucks, which is pretty good. That would be from here an increase of 61%. But I'm not really looking for a big move unless a news push comes. Yes, news can push. But, you know, it's looking a bit tired, guys. You know, this is a bearish pattern where it pumps and then comes right down. Uh, I'm looking for more accumulation. There's nothing telling me. The dailies broke that really important trend line. This would have kept the momentum going and the trend continuing up and onward. But since we've broken that, I mean, where could we look? We could look for it to make a new trend line based on something like this when it starts turning up. But we don't know how far down this can come. And until daily momentum turns up, I can't be satisfied that we don't just continue between the ranges of you know, probably back up to here, we'll come 5.7, maybe back down, then maybe 5.9. But I don't think unless we have news coming along that this thing is going to, you know, pump like you no know, tomorrow. But with that being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you for tuning in again. Remember guys, like and subscribe, share this video with people. And uh, yesterday, what did we look at? I forgot. I think we looked at, I mean, the other day we did look at RSR, right? And RSR, uh, it had a really good move, right? Remember we were talking about it at this base? And then I said an opportunity as soon as it comes back down, we got the wick and look at this movement. So beautiful broke, all time high here as pro, you know as projected and you know it's great to see that, right? So we had a beautiful move of a total of 23%. So congratulations, just like you know to uh, congratulate everyone. And yeah, let me know in the comments below, what alts do you want me to review and what are you looking at? With that being said, join us on Sunday for our live stream. Shill me your alts and take care, trade sharp and until next time.